Five days in February, and we're bringing some strong numbers when it comes to our snowpack along the Wasatch Front. Yeah, we've already got more rain and snow than we saw during the same month last year. New specialist Mike Anderson has a look now at what this means for our reservoirs. Hi, Mike. Yeah, Mike and Denny, you know, uh, certainly short of a miracle, we're not seeing the sort of record year we saw a year ago. But with things, you know, right now they're looking good for our reservoirs with this storm bringing us back within a range of normal. It's a kind of wet mix today. Rain in the valleys gradually changing as you head up the mountain and up at Snow Basin, lots of the white stuff. Oh, like, you know, we'll take it any way we can get it, right? especially right now that we've had a very dry winter up until now with just a few big snowfalls. Skiers like the Blackwell family holding out hope for the weeks ahead. Yeah, this is, I think it's, I think the cycle's going to break. I think February and March are going to produce. And in some ways, February already has. Last February, we did 0.84. KSL meteorologist Matt Johnson. We're at 1.10, so we've already beat last February. Says in just five days, we've started to catch up once again, similar to the storms that came after a pretty dry December. As like seasonal snowpack concern is concerned, uh, there's no way we catch up to last year, um, but we're hoping that February and March can produce rather well so that we can stay on that normal line. And with more of this stuff on the way, he says we are once again getting back on track. Not bad at all when you consider that we're already coming off a record winter one year ago. So everything now is just bonus, and then we'll take it because we've got to make up for what we didn't get in November and December. We really didn't turn on the spigot till January, so um, this is really nice to see. Especially nice if you like to be out in it. People on the slopes today hoping that at least one forecaster got it wrong just a few days ago. The groundhogs are going back underground, and it's going to dump. It's coming. And, you know, as of today, according to the state of Division Water, uh, Division of Water Resources uh, data, most of the reservoirs around the Wasatch Front are sitting anywhere between uh, 65 to about 90 percent. So back to you. Pretty good percentages there. All right, Mike, thank you.